A significant part of Oregon's history is returned home to the Depot Museum, bringing a bright future. How residents now can appreciate the rich history and be at the forefront of what the Silver View is expected to bring to the community. Back in the 1970s, this view looked a lot different for residents in Oregon as they would board the train for the Burlington route, choosing to sit on the Twin Cities Zephyr Silver View. Yeah, they referred to it as the observation car because it was mostly seating for observation uh, both on the main floor and uh, uh, up in the dome. Lifetime advocate of Silverview rail car Mike Adbernetti gained ownership in 2002 after Amtrak eliminated Burlington routes that went through Oregon, only to bring it back to its original home and restore it. This 85-foot rail car back in the 1970s gave riders a very exclusive and high-end traveling experience, specifically in the place I am now called the Dome, which is the very top of the rail car. In the future, when Silverview is all completed, this same area will be turned into a social setting for people to dine, drink, or even watch a beautiful sunset. You'll be available for venue. You'll uh, be able to reserve it, lease it for 24 hours. So if you want to, you'll have bathroom, functioning bathrooms, a galley kitchen, uh, music, uh, comfort, carpeted, fresh, uh, finished uh, venue. Future designs include all new furniture in the three sections of the car, like the observation area, dome, and front of the Zephyr, offering future passengers a glimpse of the Burlington lifestyle. And this is where the restroom will be, and there'll be a galley kitchen in this area here. And here's the seating arrangements for the area we just went through, and this is the rear of the car. Restorations for Silverview have been in progress since last October, with more to come, but when completed, will rewrite its own history future writers can look forward to. In Oregon, Shannon Taylor, 13 WREX. Interesting stuff there. And Kane says as restoration continues, the museum will seek donations from the community to help buy more materials. Silverview will look for another four to complete in hopes to making it an operational train.